Now, tonight, thousands of people along the U.S.-Mexico border are waiting for the U.S. Supreme Court to decide the future of Title 42. The Trump era policy allows the U.S. to turn away those seeking asylum. It was set to end today, but now that's on hold. Meanwhile, people continue to cross in hopes of claiming asylum. As the night team's Jonathan Cotto explains, those living along the border feel the impact of the migrant influx. Luis Valderrama and his wife live on this ranch, a 350-acre property that runs along the Rio Grande in Eagle Pass. My wife's out there right now at the house. Um, we're out here by ourselves, so if I go out to go um, feed the dogs or whatever, you know, whatever's out there, you know, I'm, I'm armed 24-7. The former Border Patrol agent says he is armed because of the large number of migrant groups crossing onto his property. I've done this work for many years, so I'm not spooked or anything like that. But if I hear a branch break or I hear movement in the brush and the dogs are barking, you know, I'll, my first reaction is to go chase them. But Valderrama says he is dealing with more than just unauthorized crossings. This is the problem shared by landowners in this part of the border. A tremendous amount of trash left behind hundreds of migrants who cross the river into the U.S. each night. It's damaging to my cattle. Um, I've had two cows die. Valderrama says there are two groups of migrants that cross through his land. Cut the fence, chain link fence. Those who want to enter the U.S. illegally and asylum seekers like this family. And what's one migrant's trash is another's treasure. This man says they've kept warm with what they've been able to find along the way. Con lo que hemos encontrado. Con lo que hemos encontrado. The cold weather adding to their already grueling trek from Nicaragua. Venimos totalmente... Eh, agotado del frío, las condiciones climáticas están totalmente elevadísimas y lo que hemos caminado y caminado. Jonathan Cotto, KSAT 12 News.